Hello everyone, my name is Saul and I will present you a research that was recently published in the Journal of Systems and Software. The title of this research is Identifying a Theater Technical Debt, Principal and Interest in Microservices, a Multiple Case Study. Co authors of this research are Antonio Martini and Doug Schubert. A brief overview of microservices. Uh, microservices is an architecture style. Its idea is to develop a single application as a suite of small services. Each of these small services run in their own processes and communicate with lightweight mechanisms. So the idea in microservices is having, for example, one service for users, other service for payment, other service for statistics, and all these services focused on one single task and small task only. They work together to build your solution. On the other hand, architectural technical debt is a type of technical debt consisting of suboptimal architectural solutions. These solutions deliver benefits in the short term, but increase the overall costs in the long run. In this context, we started a research to investigate what is architectural technical debt in microservices. We interviewed practitioners in seven large companies in Europe. These companies in distinct application domains. You can see in this table a quick overview of our research. So we have companies from finance, cloud, IoT, health, public services, and transport. And you can see also that the number of employees, uh, a large number of employees involved in the cases and they have projects running, running from 1.5 years to 10 years, so big, big projects. And the results of our research can be summarized in this table. And we, we see that some, so some deaths are in more companies than others. And some deaths are pretty common, like for example, the number seven here in this table is pretty common. And uh, we had some others are just in one company like 11. So, yeah. This is the uh, actual, actual result. You can see that the numbers are different from this table from the other table, but uh, you can see that we have here the, uh, an overview of the problems such as insufficient metadata in the messages, and we have Microsoft coupling by several companies complaining about that. Inadequate use of APIs uh, and uh, so use of technologies, inadequate technologies for supporting uh, problems, uh, for supporting the environment, problems with shared databases and so on. So the, we had several problems, several dads in these companies and each of these dads in our journal, you can see proposed solutions and the cost that they had for these companies. Let me give you an example of one of these deaths. We have these many services using the same versions of the same shared libraries. Let me explain to you how, what is this about. So it's common in companies using with many microservices that they also use libraries and these libraries are included in each service. So uh, they usually have teams working, like in this case, one team using, working, developing this library to be used by other services. Then other services start to use this library. However, in some moments, this team finds a bug in this library. They deprecate the first version and they release the second library, the second version of the library. You can see now that the every, everyone's updated and they need to update. Some of these developers, these services manage to update. Some of the teams working this service manage to update them, but some don't for many reasons, maybe uh, for breaking changes or things like that. But again, another bug is found in the second version of the library. The same happens, the second version is deprecated and the third version is released. You, we can see that if this keep going on, 
and you have a very complex environment to handle. So um, this, this problem had issues such as impossibility to update libraries, many versions to maintain, early adopter refusing to migrate because they used the library yesterday and today they have to do it again. And failures after upgrades, overhead, dependency among teams. So these are, are all costly issues because of the, the debt. Solutions are using less shared libraries. There are approaches to do it that can be used in some cases. For example, repeating simple cases and creating services for complex functionalities. We can, you can see details about this on our paper. We went a bit further and we tried to create a map related with a relationship. For example, different deaths lead to the same costs. So there is a relation to the costs. If you want to avoid that cost, you should take a look on those on the services related. You can find this map in our in our paper. And we also discussed things such as uh, message traceability seems to be common in financial systems more than in the other systems. Um, poor management of the queues seems to be common in companies that are migrating from previous approaches, um, from old approaches like using these queues. And most companies complain about microservices coupling. So, and we have several other points of discussion in our paper. As conclusions, we see that it's vitally important to manage it because uh, there are costly debts, co costly interest um, coming from these debts, and it's important to manage them, to have them in control. Not all companies have the solutions for the issues that they found. Some of them they have, some others don't, but the companies can benefit from the experience from others. So uh, companies can benefit from the experience presented in this paper. And future work includes running a survey to increase generalizability, collecting and, and collecting additional data, especially on prioritization for the deaths. And also investigating metrics for measure that principal and interest in microservices. So you can find the journal uh, in, in GSS. That's all I have for now. And uh, thank you for watching the presentation and I'm open to questions. <laughs>